JSM meetings are an incredible opportunity for statisticians across the board, and nobody knows this better than Ji Hun Lee. Thank you so much for being here with us. Hi, Nikki. We're so glad you're here in Music City. Absolutely. Are you enjoying your time? Yes, yes. Okay, so we're in Music City, and you are a cello player. Yes, Tell I am. Tell me about that. So I love that the next bit is all about the music and makes me feel right at home. And it's a kind of a you know, fun bonus to be in the city where artistic creativity is all around me. And also JSM brings a lot of scientific creativity. So I hope there is a lot of a synergistic effect. Are you going to go out to the Broadway bars and play the cello? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep walking. Let's see the rest of the convention center. Sounds good. So this meeting brings together so many different kinds of statisticians. What are the benefits of being at a cross-disciplinary conference like this one? It's energizing. Uh, we, we need to know how other people apply statistics in very different fields. We always learn something new, right? So this reminds me of the poem by Mary Olivier, who wrote, Instruction for Living Life. Pay attention, be astonished, tell about it. That's exactly this meeting help us. Notice new ideas and be inspired and share them. I love that. What a perfect poem for this. Are you feeling inspired? Very much. This is a technical, you know, the sessions or uh, networking is inspiring me very much. It's the point of it all, right? Yes, it does. So this is the cello. Which one? This one? This one? Yes, yes. and this two. This is the bass, this is the cello. How long have you been playing? Many, many years. When, how old were you when you started? Once I was 35, I started to learn. What? The cello. Oh, wow. Yeah. I play in the orchestra now, in the local orchestra. Oh, how orchestra. special. Yeah. Oh, how I special. Enjoy. How does the knowledge and skill set of statisticians set them up well for leadership roles? Statisticians are trained to make a decision based on data, carefully and reasonably, considering the context. You know, uh, in uh, this AI era, this kind of skill is very, very important, more than ever. Uh, in addition, also, the discipline of statistics is operated in a multidisciplinary environment, working with people from many different uh, disciplines. So therefore, I think that these two uh, uh, traits are very good skills to become the leaders. Tell attendees why they should seek out leadership roles. So Nikki, not everybody thinks themselves as a leader, but to me, leadership isn't just defined by title, right? Leadership is it's about stepping up, using their skills, and making difference. That's why it's so important to be proactive about seeking uh, those roles. And also, we really needed uh, people at the uh, decision-making tables, particularly people who understand data. It doesn't come natural for a lot of people, right? It takes, it's hard to get that confidence up to do it. That's very true. But I think that people can think of that on, you know, what they have, what kind of uh, skills they have. But if they can think over what they wanted to do, I mean, it's a making impact or a, a contributing to the society using their skills. It's amazing things. So you should not wait to be asked. You should stepping up and making difference. That's a perfect way to put it. And I always tell people just find something that you care about. Exactly. And then it'll be easy. Mm -hmm. Nikki, thank you so much for uh, having having me, and then it's great to talk to you. But I have a lot of things to yep. do today, so I need to go. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. I enjoyed chatting. Thank you. I can't wait to hear you play the cello on Broadway. <laughs> Someday. <Yeah. laughs>